Hey everyone, Bob here. Today, our topic is about the purpose of ABS. What is ABS? ABS is anti-lock braking system. But before I proceed, shout out first to Boy Mute, Jeffrey Raimundo of Bridget, Douglas Conkel, and Navarro Mamanville, Ati My Story Rival, Akos Milan, Lady G Channel, Eric Estocado at Soundstrip, Alice Matayong Lipad TV, Mafi Simbahon, and Mebrato Kebedi. So let's get started. So what is the purpose of ABS anti-lock braking system? ABS help prevent heavy or light vehicle or motorcycle locking up and improve control of the vehicle while braking. The purpose of ABS is not to help vehicles stop faster. That's why this is a wrong idea of the, some of the drivers that the purpose of the ABS is to multiply or to add more power to the brake system of the vehicle. The purpose is to help drivers maintain control of the vehicles in heavy braking situations. So without ABS, the steering wheel will lock up Will not be able, yeah, the driver will not be able to turn the wheel either to the right or to the left side in order for, for, for the driver to evade the impending hazards in front of him, like vehicles or stationary objects, thereby avoid, avoid uh, crossing of his vehicle. So that is the purpose of ABS. With ABS, the steering wheel will still can still be turned either left or right by the driver because the ABS will unlock the locking of the brake when the driver slams on the brake pedal. In ideal driving conditions, vehicle equipped with ABS experience shorter stopping distance than vehicles without ABS. Therefore, decreased stopping distance is not guaranteed by ABS and is a secondary effect. So therefore, no ABS, there will be no control. ABS has been proven to reduce the risk of crashing when being used on typical road surfaces, like, you know, like asphalt road or concrete surfaces. Risk would be different when driving on slippery surfaces like like sand in some of the Middle East countries, like in, in Saudi Arabia or in Dubai, due to dust storm, which is happening almost every day. Gravel, oil, snow in some con in Western countries, like in, in the US, in Canada, and some countries in Europe. And ice where breaking distances are increased, or loss of grip or skidding. Skidding means sliding on the surface of the road. So how ABS works? With ABS, the driver will be able to control the vehicle steering wheel and be able to evade from crossing into another vehicle or object as the steering wheel can still be turned, as I said, and head the vehicle to any direction as the ABS free the wheels from locking up because of the constant force applied by the driver on the brake pedal. Therefore, it's a wrong notion that ABS will provide more braking to the vehicle brake system. It is simply there to keep the wheels from locking, thus the driver able to control the vehicle. So how does the ABS work? ABS works by releasing and then reapplying or pumping the brakes to a vehicle wheel in heavy braking situations. So when a driver push the brake pedal, just like this guy, this driver, um, the, the brake booster or the, uh, this is also called hydrovac, 
will assist the 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 driver in making the brake pedal a little softer or a little lighter for for the driver to be able to push without any exerting any hard effort on the brake pedal then the there is a push rod here inside the hydro buck will uh, push the the piston on the brake master cylinder this is like a it's like acting like a pump and supplying hydro hydraulic fluid uh, you know hydraulic fluid pressure to the hydraulic modulator where there's a pump and a valve inside thereby supplying uh, hydraulic fluid pressure to the wheel cylinder uh, to all the wheels for uh, drum type of brake system or the the brake caliper for the disc brake so sensors on each wheel are used to detect locking or when a wheel stops moving and starts to skid okay there are uh, four sensors uh, provided by the abs system on its wheels so the 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 function of the sensor is the sensor is able to detect the whether the the wheels is locking up or not and the sensor will, uh, you know, give back the information, the data to the ECU, which is the engine control unit for information. And the, the ECU is like a brain, be able to, you know, decide whether to continuously supply the hydraulic fluid pressure to the, to the wheel cylinders or, cal or caliper. So when a lockup is detected, of course, detected by the sensor, ABS pumps the brakes 100% of times a second. This stops the wheels from skidding or sliding and helps keep the driver in control of the vehicle. Because as I said, the steering will be soft to turn either left or right because of the uh, releasing of the pressure to the wheel cylinder. Therefore, the wheel cylinder or the caliper is not locking up the wheels, okay? So this is the, the, the purpose of the ABS system. So ABS work in three stages. Number one, brake pedal is pushed, just like that one. Brake pedal is pushed by the driver. And wheel sensors detect skidding or locking. So the, this is very important the, because the sensor will detect the, the locking of the wheels and therefore uh, it is able to, you know, forward the information to the ECU or the electronic, con or rather the engine control unit. Number two, wheel sensors detect skidding or locking. And number three, ABS pumps the brakes, like the hydraulic uh, modulator where, where it holds the, the valves. Uh, the, the, the function is blocking the hydraulic fluid pressure or releasing it to the wheel cylinders or caliper. To stop the vehicle, these brakes need between 800 to 1,200 PSI. What is PSI? Pounds per square inch. That is the force at the calipers or the wheel brake or the wheel cylinders. A driver can apply around 70 pounds of force with his foot on the brake pedal. Or, or it could even be more when the driver is a, you know, a, a lot bigger, maybe 60 footer driver with a big body, 200 foot, uh, 200 pounds uh, weight, you know, could be more than 70 pounds. I'm just talking about the average weight of the driver or who is slamming on the brake pedal. So there are four major components of typical anti-block braking system. Number one is the speed sensors, as I said earlier, this is the one detecting the, the whether the, the wheels, are, or the wheel is locking or or still moving or still turning okay so these sensors monitor how fast the wheel or wheels are rotating the anti-lock brake sensor is like a type uh, type of tachometer that measures the rotational speed of a wheel and passes it to the car's engine control module ecm or ecu engine control unit The ABS sensor is also called the wheel speed sensor or ABS brake sensor. The valves, 
where it, this being housed by the hydraulic modulator and the valves in the brake line allow block and release, or blocking and releasing of pressure on the brakes by assuming three different positions. The pump, these pumps are filled with hydraulic fluid and apply pressure to the brake drums or calipers on demand. So if the if the uh, the demand is the the driver is pushing the pedal and it it uh, it makes the brake master cylinder cylinder work as a pump and uh, supplies the hydraulic fluid pressure to the hydraulic modulator which controls the releasing and blocking of the hydraulic fluid uh, pressure to the wheel cylinders or the calipers. So. So these pumps are filled with hydraulic fluid and apply pressure to the brake drums or calipers on demand. Okay. So if it needs braking, it needs uh, locking of the wheels, the hydraulic modulator will do that. It will unlock the, the brakes by blocking the pressure from going into the wheel cylinder. If the ABA system wants to, to, to lock the wheels, then the pressures being blocked by the hydraulic modulator will supply back to the wheel cylinder. That is the that is the function of the the pump. Okay, and the fourth one and the most important important one is the controller. Controller is the ECU or the electronic control unit. It's like you know the brain of the ABS and uses data from the sensors to determine whether or not the pump whether or not to pump the brakes. Okay, so this is the brain. It's, this is like a CPU of a desktop or, or any other computer. So that's why most of the mechanics or technicians is calling this computer, but it is actually called ECU or electronic or rather engine control unit. So this is the brain. This is the one who decides uh, whether to release the pressure or to block, block the pressure uh you know supplying the wheel cylinders or calipers okay so when the sensor you know actually uh detects that the wheel is locking it gives uh information to the ECU by means of what by means of uh the uh, volts you know electrical uh uh electrical uh, signal uh, giving it to the ECU and also the ECU will give the electrical signal or the data or, or information to the to the hydraulic mod modulator uh, in order for the for this component to be able to control the releasing and blocking of the hydraulic fluid pressure The good thing is ABS also protect tires from excessive wear or getting burned because of hard friction on road surface. When you know, when you without ABS, when the when the driver slumps on the brake pedal, the 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 wheels, all the wheels will uh, you know will lock up and will not turn, and the the vehicle will slide, will skid, and therefore it will have a greater friction on the road surface, thereby. Therefore, you know, the, the wheels become hotter and it will even burn, you know, the, the tires. Okay, so with ABS, when the ABS is uh, unlocking, locking, and locking of the wheels, therefore the skidding will be avoided and the tires will not get burned and the tires will not be, will not worn out due to the friction on the road surface. So that would be a great, uh, savings for the tires your, your you know your tires will uh, last long today anti-lock braking system is a standard fixture on all cars motorcycles and heavy vehicles like straight trucks and articulated vehicles like tractors and trailers before in the old days only big bikes you know uh, motorcycles are, are being fixed with the EBS system. But nowadays, even the smaller bikes are also equipped with EBS, okay? 
this is the illustration of the ABS reluctor ring where this is fixed in the in the spindle of the uh, the shaft okay and it is turning when the when the wheels is turning the reluctor ABS reluctor ring is also turning and if the 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 brakes is being applied the wheels will stop and will lock up therefore the ABS reluctor ring will also stop and lock up and this is now the job of the ABS wheel speed sensor to detect that locking up of the reluctor ring and give the signal back to the electronic control unit or the ECU for, for the decision making of the ECU whether to, to you know, supply, supply the, uh, the hydraulic pressure or not via the uh, hydraulic modulator. Okay. And this is. And this is the actual uh, fixture of the ABS speed sensor on the wheels or on the brake system with the reluctor ring, reluctor ring uh, to it. Okay. So the driver will be able to, you know, to control the cars in turning or skidding. Okay. So that's it for today. And I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. You'll be notified of new video upload. And thank you for watching.